My name is Greg Barley. I'm the Director of Crop Protection and Crop Quality with Pulse Canada. Our domestic and export customers have strict limits on the amount of acceptable residues that are allowed on harvested seed. Glyphosate is an effective and safe tool for weed control, however it's under a lot of scrutiny. If we all work together to ensure our residue limits are well below the limits that are set for harvested seed, we can help to ensure that this tool is available for years to come. If growers have sprayed glyphosate for pre-harvest weed control, when the seed moisture content is above 30%, traces of the product can be absorbed by the plant, leaving unacceptable residues behind. Since glyphosate is absorbed by the seed itself, longer storage time after the crop has been cut will not reduce those residue levels. Glyphosate is an effective tool for pre-harvest weed control, but it should not be used as a desiccant. When checking moisture levels, it's important to check the entire field for uneven maturity when making a decision to spray. When we assess the entire field, the entire field for 30% moisture, we're looking for areas that are still green and above 30% moisture content. In this area, we can see that the pods are still very green, the leaves have not started to yellow at all, and we can tell that this area is still above 30% moisture. This area should be avoided if you're applying pre-harvest glyphosate, or you should wait until this area of the field has reached that maturity. Glyphosate should only be applied when seed moisture content is less than 30% across all areas of the field. This is what 30% looks like in pulse crops. When considering field peas, the visual characteristics of 30% seed moisture content is most of the pods, about 80%, are yellow to brown in the crop. When you look in the bottom canopy and the pods in the bottom, those seeds will be detached and rattle within the pod. For lentils, 80% of the plant is yellow to brown. The top third of the plant, the seeds are fully formed and firm. The bottom third of the plant, the seeds are hard and tan to brown. When the pods are shaken, they will rattle within the pods. For chickpeas, the plants have yellowed and matured. The seeds have detached themselves from the pods and have changed colors. When the pods are rattled, the seeds will shake within the pod. For fava beans, the leaves are drying down and the stems are green to brown in color. The lower pods are dark brown to black. For dry beans, 80-90% of the leaves have been lost and 80% of the pods have yellowed or changed color. Canola, cereal and pulse growers can follow the tips of information from the Keep It Clean program, which include using acceptable pesticides, following the label, managing crop disease, storing crops properly, and delivering what you declare.